What happens when the Republicans in the Texas legislature try to solve a problem that doesn't exist? Find out on this edition of One Star, One Texas. Hi, this is Tom Cantrell. Even though there's absolutely no evidence of a growing problem of men using the ladies' room and vice versa, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has decided we need to fix it, and in the process stands to decimate the tourism industry in Texas. So what's behind Senate Bill 6, the so-called bathroom bill? And why is Dan Patrick so determined to push it? Well, apparently, Dan can't let a mean-spirited, wedge-driving, hateful opportunity go by without picking it up, because there's been little cry from constituents in the state to create such a law. In fact, a recent poll conducted by the University of Texas and the Texas Tribune showed that 51% of Texans think it's not an important issue, while only 39% said it was. But here's the reality. SB6 makes Texas look like a hostile, backwater place to visit or do business, irrespective of your views on the issue. According to Forbes magazine, North Carolina's bathroom bill flushed away $630 million in lost business. The Texas Association of Business, one of the most powerful groups in the state, does not support the bill. Both the NFL and the NBA have expressed concerns about the negative climate this kind of law creates, warning that it would be a consideration for future events. And a group of 40 global investors have said these discrimination policies will hurt business, hurt taxes, and quite frankly, cause reputational harm that you can't get back. The list goes on with a chorus of dignitaries and celebrities all singing the same tune. Of course, both Putty Mandan and the Emperor of Abbotsville continue to thumb their noses at the pushback and hurtle through space, basking in the backwash of their own arrogant, snarky rejoinders, endangering both the reputation and economic vitality of the state, and all for something Texans don't think is important. If they prevail, it will likely become important to voters, as both are up for re-election in 2018, where their cavalier attitudes will be on full display. Finally, if this bill becomes law, I personally can't wait for some big, burly, bearded, law-abiding transgender man to go waltzing into the ladies' room at the Capitol during a field trip of the Texas Federation of Republican Women. The stampede of angry women beelining it to the offices of Patrick and Abbott to unload their wrath should be fun to watch. This is Tom Cantrell for One Star, One Texas. And remember, resist, persist, now go make it a great day.